Day 13? 12. Ah. Day 12. As you might have noticed, we've had some microphone problems throughout this tournament, and so we're breaking out... The big gun today. We have our regular microphone. We have our lapel microphones. Something's got to work, Something's right? got to work or we're cashing it in. Cashing it. We're going to shut it all down. <laughs> but not before we finish this tournament brought Definitely. to you by Sagamore Spirit. I think we should get right to it today. What do you say? Yep. On the nose, glass of one. I say I like it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's caramely and chocolatey and oaky. So oaky. Oh, boy. I've said this probably a million times because we're just drinking bourbon this time, but it smells quintessentially bourbon. Yeah, some vanilla, some cow tail tastic caramel there. Beautiful oak. Oh my goodness, do I love glass two already. <laughs> it is a butterscotch bomb. Oh, I'm getting a little fruit here. What? Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. I'm getting, I mean, I get all that too, but it is butterscotch for uh, this lady. I have a sneaking suspicion we're not drinking the same things today. Oh, I always forget about that. <laughs> well, day 12. Cheers to confusion and round two. Oh, yummy. Oh, oh, oh yummy. Oh, I hate that we're not drinking the same thing, baby. Well, if we are, I have the same reaction just internally. I don't usually say yummy, but that's yummy. It yeah. coats. It's warm and lovely and yeah. beautiful. Huge flavors, and the oh. oak is a superstar here. Yeah, agree on all of it. And you look like you're about to cry. Is I it know, that good? It was really good. And it's just <laughs> like, it's just melty. I actually could pick up butterscotch in this as well. It could be caramel. It's so but sweet. But like, it, there's just something sweet and warm and... It's The finish is lasting forever. I was about to take another sip and realize that I'm still getting to. just as much decadence as I did from the initial sip. Mmm. Mmm. Okay round two so i shouldn't be surprised that things are delicious but don't know what it is don't even care no we had some very oh, strong sorry. happy reactions to some of the things in the first round yeah i think it only makes sense that we would have similar reactions here in round two i'm glad i liked it and i'm glad i moved it forward that is sugar tastic oak tastic this one it coats so well i just want to sit here i'm thinking like oh i should get a glass of water and I don't want my palate to. for a sip for a glass too. No, I don't want to. I'm just it's, chill. It's a nice, perfect hug right now. It is a nice hug too. Yeah. Yeah, I feel loved. You know, before we go into glass two, I just want to take this opportunity to remind everybody that it's not too late to close out your 2022 New Year's resolutions. You know, oh. that you can add them to the list still. It's not too late. You know, we're all about bettering ourselves, and I added something to the list today. What did you add? I'm going to get a haircut before the end oh, of the year. Oh, thank goodness. Because this wig is out of control. I don't I, even know what to do with it. I thought we were going to do a callback to drink more water. <laughs> have you have you picked up your water drinking at all here just, in December? I'm drinking more water than normal because I'm drinking in between all of these glasses. Just to cleanse your palate. <laughs> exactly. The only time Julie drinks water is to cleanse her palate. Well, that seems perfectly healthy. On to glass number two. I'm actually a little bit nervous because the nose on glass two was so wonderful. And I think this glass is going to be wonderful. You don't want to spoil And then I don't want to like choose. I already don't want to choose. <laughs> well, I'm into it. I took a healthy sip on that one. Jeez, I did too. Mm. Wow, the palate's actually quite different. There's cherry on here. That nose was all butterscotch. I got a little bit, but this is a... Uh, th did I get excited? An oaky cherry delight. <laughs> I just love listening to what you're describing because <laughs> it is not what I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting cinnamon. I'm getting a lot of limestone. I'm getting light brown sugar, nice mm. vanilla, um, drier flavors, drier oak. It's really nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What if we are drinking the same thing and it's like... Our palates are broken? Or, or like all those people are like, you're just making stuff up right now. And it's like, hey, maybe <laughs> we what, are. <laughs> my dad already says that. I'm actually going to drink some of that resolution water. <laughs> you made me splash it in my eye. It's a dangerous uh, thing we do out here. Living life on the edge. Mm. Yeah, glass two is beautiful too. Coat's great. Nice finish. This one too. Shoot. And oh man, both of these are slightly unconventional. Mm -hmm. Which 
usually I would go, well, I'm gonna go with something a little unique or something that's more traditional, whatever is in my wheelhouse on that given day. These are both unique whiskeys. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be tough. What I think is interesting about this year than previous years is that we're eliminating things that are of equal proof points along the way. Yeah. So at the end, you could have just almost, I mean, I don't know, but it's possible you could have like an easier road where a 95 proofer or 100 proofer goes up against a 127 and maybe it won't be a hard decision at the end. Well, the beauty, of, the beauty of the tournament as it's set up is that that type of matchup won't happen until the end this time. Right. So these are all relatively close. I'm going back to glass one. Mm -hmm. I love that stupid glass. <laughs> What I find fun about glass one is that on the nose, I was like, oh, all the traditional flavors, but there is a twist on glass one that's mm -hmm. not super traditionally bourbon. Something just a little bit pizzazzy about it. I love throwing just junk out there to see if anyone's paid attention. <laughs> that was most definitely junk. You know what it kind of reminds me of? We were in the Columbia River Gorge not too long ago, mm -hmm. and that the wood there is is constantly soaked mm -hmm. because it's rainy a lot of the time misty whatever it might be and it takes on this earthy aroma yeah there is a little of that on the nose for glass one oh, i really like it. it takes me someplace i like to travel <sighs> me too i'm getting blackberry on glass one now oh that's stupid good you got a little flush to you do i yeah are you are you flirting with glass one glass one is flirting with me <laughs> I don't get that kind of attention these days. Glass one is stupid good. Stupid good might be the next glass that we make. <laughs> That's super good. We're going stupid good. St stupid good. I, th I think we've said that more during this tournament, tournament than super good. My glass number two is like marshmallow butterscotch. That, is, that does not describe my glass number two at all. I would put this in the top three matchups that we've had so far this tournament. These two glasses for me are both champions. There will be none left in my glasses, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah I'm working my way down and I don't even care. I'm loving every second of this. Exactly. This is great. I mean, I, I, I'm drinking them because I need to make a decision, but it's, I'm not, you know, sad about it. No, I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> is there one matchup today? Yeah, just one matchup. <laughs> Day 12. <laughs> Halfway there. This this Thanksgiving season, Julie's grateful for round two where it's only one matchup a day. Different day, yeah. could go either way. Yeah. It's gonna come down to palette preference. I don't see how it can't because they're too evenly matched. I'm almost done too. I know, I'm running out of Shoot. time over here. I'm running out of time. I can feel the the uh, clock ticking. Yeah, the eyes of the entire <laughs> internet are upon us. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've finished a glass so far in this tournament. Yeah, me too. That one's so good. Oh my goodness. Mm. You too? <laughs> <laughs> that is inaccurate. Mm. I think I know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm just going to finish up the glasses to make sure. <laughs> I'll leave no stone unturned. <laughs> no stone unturned on this one. What a delicious matchup. I, I've got a decision. I think that I do as well. One, two, three. Unbelievable. Whatever we had in the logo what glasses. What if we have the same thing in the, the other glass? If the logo glasses are the exact same thing, this is going to be the best result ever. Uh, let's see what we got here. The glass that's eliminated is the logo glass. That is G, as in Grover, is one of my favorite Muppets. I, so we're not drinking the same thing, so. So G, <laughs> what, what was eliminated for, for well, you tell it what, what it was for either one of us. Well, this was a delicious matchup. So I was drinking the Maker's BRT01, which wasn't Whoa. surprising to me because it had that butterscotch note that I actually got whatever day it was with the other Maker's, which I thought I swapped. So, wow. Yeah. Wait, what does that mean I was drinking? Chattanooga 111. That explains the limestone. That is such a good whiskey. Yeah. Man, I'm glad we weren't drinking the same thing because our notes were so different. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm, before we even say who won, I'm shocked that Chattanooga is out of this tournament for both of us. I went out last round, which I was know. nuts. I really, really thought Chattanooga 111 was the bottle to beat in this tournament. Uh, super good is the glass that prevails, the letter U, as in, I was not underwhelmed by this bottle. 
Old 55, bottled and bond. Yeah, it had to be. She was dangerous. And we said that in the first round, and it did not disappoint. I, nothing has a profile like that. It is... Sheesh. 100 proof whiskey with that much flavor I'm continues gonna, to be dangerous. I'm going to say it was close on this one. Yeah. I love... This glass is not a loser to me. This BRT01. I can't remember all those numbers. That's because they sound like letters. Star Wars robots. <laughs> they do. I'm going to drink this probably tonight. Yeah. But, you know. Dynamite. It was good what a all matchup. All winners here. No, yeah. no losers except for the two bottles that were losers. Uh... Well, I don't have you. anything to cheers with. Oh, oh, I'll take some Chattanooga. <laughs> well, from wherever we are. <laughs> to wherever you are. Cheers. Che- oh, do you not have any? No. I'll share. After I drink. Oh, what a giver you are this holiday season. Man, that is good. It's super good. <laughs>